What is up my body warriors and welcome back to another video and another episode of the 2020 checklist. This is when we're going over those big core calisthenic movements. We've had the house and push up, we've had the planche, had the front lever. Today we're going over the one arm chin up. Now the one arm chin up for me has been one of the more inconsistent skills over the years. It appeared randomly when I had some specific training on it and then it's kind of been up and down depending on my overall training but generally if I'm working on chin ups, being strong on chin ups, the one arm chin ups is there or thereabouts. There is kind of a reason though that I haven't specifically been training it but it is a goal for this year. So the one arm chin up, much like the planche, was one of those primary sort of focuses that I had with bodyweight training and it's one of the things that I worked most consistently at the beginning not necessarily at the beginning of training training I had sort of two or three years of actual weight training under my belt I was relatively competent with chin-ups and when I decided to focus my efforts onto the one-arm chin-up things progressed pretty well so I actually got my first one-arm chin-up in 2016 and it was kind of random I was doing quite a lot of focus training at the time on the one-arm chin-up but it didn't actually feel close and then all of a sudden it kind of just happened on the right arm only I've actually never had a one-arm chin-up on the left arm but I'll explain that bit later this was at a time when kind of my main focus in calisthenics was just the strength skills the planche front lever one-arm chin-up handstand push-up now it is more evenly spread between a mix of handstands and flexibility and other things me though the skill never decided to be consistent it was always very up and down and often quite dependent on my weight i actually made a whole video during this time about cutting down about two kilos which enabled me to then re-get the one arm chin up for like the third time unfortunately due to a mixture of things uh one of them being training the one arm chin up heavy three times a week um cutting not eating enough calories uh, also beginning to work on the one arm handstand uh, the one arm chin up was actually the drill that really did set me back the most in this whole calisthenics journey so far and that was when it kind of ended up being the main contributing factor for me developing medial epicondylitis or golfer's elbow that really annoying pain that a lot of people get right around the inside of the elbow uh, and it ended up actually leading to some nerve issues as well and it basically put me out of upper body training completely for about nine months and that was simply because I was overtraining the one arm chin up. This is really the reason that it's no longer as much of a training focus of mine because it is the one exercise that can still kind of flare up that old injury. 99% of the time, I don't even know about those elbow injuries that held me back and really restricted me for the best part of a year. I'm not prepared to compromise the entirety of my training for achieving one skill. Which kind of leads me to the first part of this one arm chin up training tips and that is understanding how to properly prepare for it. And if you hadn't noticed, this has essentially been a common theme with this whole checklist series. Every single episode I've mentioned, you need to have enough strength in the basics. This is why I created that checklist. It's actually very similar to the process I take a lot of clients through. There's a couple of steps along the way that we want to get before working on the one arm chin up. Number one, we want to make sure we have general competency in pull ups. Being able to do 10 or so pull ups or chin ups, fantastic start. Is number two is making sure you have a decent relative strength weighted chin up. In the checklist for the intermediate, I gave five reps at plus 25% body weight weighted. So for me personally at 90 kilos, that would be somewhere around getting five reps with an additional 20, 22 and a half kilos on myself on top of my own body weight. And this sort of thing will just make your life easier when you come to focusing on getting that one arm chin up. Next we come to another overlooked aspect and that is the biceps. <laughs> The bicep is actually a more important part of the one arm chin up than it is with the actual chin up itself. And I've done a whole video on how to eliminate weak spots in a pull up or chin up and I'll link that video down below and part of that I mentioned about using bicep curls to strengthen the weaker portion. When it comes to the one arm chin up it is especially important because we're switching from two arms to one arm. Um, the load and just the movement in general becomes much much more intensive on that bicep and also a lot of the tendon and conditioning around the elbow joint. And one of the best ways for us to actually condition it is just simply to actually train biceps a little bit more often, especially if we can work a little bit of a higher rep range to prepare us for doing the one arm chin up. It's not gonna get you the one arm chin up, but it certainly is gonna help potentially mitigate some of those issues that people get around just overworking that elbow. Right, so your strength is there. You've got a decent amount of base levels of strength. Where do we go next? Where do we get that specific training for the one arm chin up? And to be honest, uh, I'd like to keep this one simple. There's really three main exercises that I think are worth your time when it comes to the one arm chin up. 
Number one is the mantle chin up. And this one I've actually covered again in a whole video and I'll link that video down below. It was one of the original exercises that I used when I was personally working on the one arm chin up. And I think it's just a really simple and scalable way of training with a little bit of a deficit and a little bit of a bias on one arm. I know, for example, people like Fitness FAQs aren't necessarily a big fan of assisted one-arm chin-ups, which is essentially what the mantle chin-up is. Instead, he prefers something that's more measurable, more accountable, which, you know, is definitely valid and has its reasons. And for that reason, the other exercise that I like, which is essentially the same thing, is the pulley-assisted one-arm chin-up. Rather than trying to explain it here, I'm simply going to link to Daniel's video on this because it's a cracking video and it's a really simple way to scale your chin-up, essentially just reduce the load and the assistance you're getting. The third and final exercise is negatives. Negatives are just a fantastic drill for developing the one-arm chin-up. You can do these scaled, so you can do them with a little bit of assistance or you can do them with no assistance. The nice thing with negatives is that that focus on that eccentric contraction is gonna really help develop a lot of the connective tissue and tendon strength that we're gonna need. As well as obviously being a very, very good drill to get it, it's also gonna help bulletproof a lot of that shoulder joint. And again, just reduce our likelihood of injury, which if you get injured, is probably the worst way to make progress. The last kind of tip I have for you is probably the most important tip when it comes to long-term progress and just actually attaining a skill. Long-term consistency is by far the most important thing when it comes to training. It's the thing to unlock in it. One thing that gets in the way of long-term consistency is injuries. As I kind of mentioned repeatedly, the one-up chin-up is pretty bad for that. I would probably the main thing with your training that I would recommend is just not doing it too often specifically with the one arm chin up. As I mentioned, it's such an intensive movement on the one arm, the elbow, the shoulder that you're gonna be working. Training that two to three times a week is usually just too much. It doesn't actually need to happen. You can definitely get away with a skill of one training session a week, focus on the one arm chin up, and then maybe doing another training session that supports it with just some weighted chin ups or some accessory movements. Something that's a little bit lighter that's gonna support the overall goal of the one arm chin up. But that's basically all I have for you in terms of tips for the one arm chin up. Just keep it simple. Focus on getting strong with those basic movements. Make sure you condition the things that you're gonna need later on because the one arm chin up is definitely one of those drills that can elicit a number of injuries and we don't want that happening. But as always guys, that has basically been it for this video. If you have any questions about the one arm chin up, if you wanna share something that was useful for you in attaining your one arm chin up, then please just let me know in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on this. While you're down there, there is always that like button if you just enjoyed this video. And then right next to it is also that subscribe button if you want to join the Bodyweight Warrior Tribe and don't miss out any more future videos. This 2020 checklist, all the other stuff that's on this channel, come and join the tribe. But that's basically been it for this week, guys. I'll catch you in the next episode. Have a strong week and 